Gaming Bolt presents 15 Best Episodic Games Episodic games let developers develop their characters, worlds, gameplay mechanics, and more over the course of development, creating experiences that only get better as they go on. Here are the 15 Best Episodic Games. Republic. Episodic games succeed because they can develop a story over a longer period of time, fixing mechanics and improving the overall experience as the player works their way through the puzzles and story. Republic is a stealth game set in a totalitarian society. Each chapter is a different step of the journey, encapsulating the story and focusing on the strongest emotional beats of each portion. Broken Age Originally conceived as a single tale, financial troubles turned Broken Age into a two-part affair. The first act introduced players to the world, mechanics, characters, and beautifully designed locals, while the second turns everything on its head. The narrative could have worked as a single story, but the emotional thought lines have more resonance thanks to the gameplay and puzzle innovations and environments drastically changed by the events of the first act. King's Quest The classic point-and-click adventure series was reinvented back in 2015 with a new coat of paint and an episodic structure. It retells the events of the original series, adding new moments and characters along the way. Each episode introduces new locations, puzzle mechanics, and surprising, whimsical twists that stay true to the classic series. Back to the Future, the game. Telltale appears on this list more than a few times, and for good reason. Their take on Back to the Future reunited Doc and Marty for hours of temporal hijinks and witty banter. What's more fun than messing around in one other time period? How about hopping through time at least three times to save Doc from being executed, and then frantically trying to reset the timeline so Marty won't inexplicably disappear from existence? Dreamfall Chapters – The Longest Journey Set in two parallel universes, one a dystopian cyberpunk world where citizens are beginning to lose their grip on reality, and the other a high fantasy world filled with magic and hulking beasts. The Dreamfall Chapters – The Longest Journey has a lot to explore. It uses its episodic nature to explore both worlds, how they interact, and the characters that define them and shape the truly horrific events that sweep across the dimensions. Hitman Many were skeptical when Hitman was announced to be an episodic venture, but it turned out to be one of the best games in the series. Being forced to wait for each new map to release forces players to fully explore and master the locations that are at their disposal, thoroughly learning the tools of the trade and how to tackle each elusive target before moving on to the next stealth sandbox. Resident Evil Revelations 2 Horror games are built on a constant increase in release of tension, which seems like something that would be hard to orchestrate in an episodic manner. Each chapter follows two teams. Claire Redfield, and Barry Burton, and Natalia Korda, a mysterious girl with strange powers. Claire's sections feel more like the classic RE games, focusing more on tension and horror, whereas Barry prefers to fire off as many rounds as he has in the chamber, so players get the best of both worlds through the four thrilling episodes. Game of Thrones The night is dark and full of terrors, and also a veritable cacophony of characters and locations. Westeros is home to dozens of houses, hundreds of characters, and even more conflicts. Each new episode brings the Forrester family, the stars of the game, to a new location, putting them face to face with some of the show's most beloved characters and in the middle of some of its most gruesome moments. Tales from the Borderlands Borderlands is much more than a bazillion guns and hordes of belligerent enemies. The characters that inhibit Pandora are deep, clever, and so bold that it sometimes borders on stupidity. Telltale presented their take on the bizarre universe, and it managed to flesh out what was previously a rather dry world, filled only with things to shoot and guns to loot. The Wolf Among Us Based on the comic series Fables, The Wolf Among Us throws players into a small village in New York entirely inhabited by fairy tale characters that have been exiled from their magical lands. The story's focus is Bigsby, or the Big Bad Wolf who acts as the detective of the new community, trying to wrap his head around mysterious events that sweep through the fantastical world of these storybook characters thrust into the real world. StarCraft II After a decade of rumors and endless amounts of anticipation, StarCraft II finally made its way to store shelves. But something was different. Unlike the original sci-fi RTS, the sequel did not pack the campaigns of all three races into one box. Instead, the first game, Wings of Liberty, focused solely on the Terrans, with the other two campaigns releasing later. But this didn't matter because it fleshed out each race in a way that the original never had, 
building on the incredibly strong gameplay of StarCraft II as it went. Tales of Monkey Island Guybrush Threepwood returned once again to defeat his ghostly nemesis, the conniving pirate LeChuck, but he accidentally releases a mystical plague across the Gulf of Melange in the process. The episodic nature of the story allowed for a new pacing, with new mechanics being introduced for each leg of the hysterical nautical journey. Life is Strange Following the adventures of Max, a teenage girl who finds out she has the ability to control time, and Chloe, her best friend, Life is Strange follows the two girls as they mess with time itself and try to save their small town from being ripped apart by a vicious storm. The gameplay combines dialogue choices with rewinding time to gather more info, altering events to suit your needs, and exploring the social minefield that is high school. Half-Life 2 Gordon Freeman has been waging a desperate war against the enigmatic forces of the Combine for years, but the closing moments of Half-Life 2 were just the beginning. As City 17 began to crumble and erode, Gordon and Alex had to flee in order to survive, taking out every Combine and headcrab that wandered across their path. The episodic nature of the releases meant less of a wait time between sections, which now seems very trite as we continue to wait for Half-Life 2 Episode 3 almost 10 years after its initial release. The Walking Dead series Telltale's The Walking Dead is a game that proved that episodic releases could be just as successful as another plan. Now, two seasons and one spin-off later, the game has expanded the bleak world of the comics in unimaginable ways. Each new chapter presents players with new choices, forcing them to choose who lives, who dies, and how the world will change around them. We can't wait for the already confirmed Season 3. Like this video? Why not give us a like and subscribe? We try and upload amazing videos almost every single day. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.